Hi folks, um, it's the 1937, I think, no, 47, 46 or 47 Gibson ES300. I'm just doing a little mess around here, a little fuck about. Um, don't know what the lighting's like, but anyways, this is a awesome guitar, it's got a P90. It's a bit dark, but hey-ho. Um, doesn't have the pick guard. It's amazing shape. It's got a really cool kind of flame maple back on it. But uh, anyways, this is just uh, checking it out. It's not plugged in, actually. It just plugged in, but... Some guitar. I don't know. I need more lighting. Like I said, one of my bulbs is gone, man. This is just. Uh, I don't know if that's any better. Not really. Um. So that's the uh, Gibson ES three hundred. It's a really cool guitar. It's got just a P ninety. Um. Nineteen forty seven, I think, or forty six. It's got the Stinger. Whoops. Stinger on the back. Yeah. It's got a uh, rosewood fretboard. I don't know if it's uh, Indian or uh, what do they call it. I got my spec sheet in front of me, man. It's all original. And it's got kind of flame on the sides. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, light shit. Well, um, the neck is uh, quite big on this bad boy. It's huge, actually. Um, <laughs> In those days, I guess they weren't worrying about shredding, except for, um, what's that guy that was in, uh, played with Elvis and I think Bill Haley in the comments, um, he, uh, played a Gibson ES-295, I'm not sure if he played one of these, but in those days, yeah, there, there's a couple guys shredding, but the neck is huge on this thing, and, um, Oh well, you know, that's cool. <laughs> Back in those days, like I say, they weren't uh, building guys to shred like Steve I or Paul Gilbert or, you know, Ingve Malmsteen. So, um, you know, the necks were fairly thick, but, you know, it's a cool guitar. I, li I like a big neck on a guitar. Um, but yeah, it's a cool guitar. Anyways, thanks for coming out. And uh, I say I'm just 